Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Taya's Turning Pages. video you can tell that this is going to be my holiday slash Christmas book TBR I did mention in my last video that I was going to film a separate video talking about all of the Christmas books I would like to read honestly that's because I was trying to watch all of the princess switch movies on Netflix the other day I am obsessed with those movies you guys if you know you know it stars Vanessa Hudgens she switches places with the princess and it's a whole thing but it's great there's three movies out right now I watched the third one last night and it was just it was phenomenal so because of that I wanted to read a few books that had that same type of vibe so the Christmas feels the cheese the romance part I love it all so I wanted to read a few books like that so that's why I turned to my iPad here and I decided to go through Apple Books little selection and I found quite a few Christmas books that I would like to read um, before the season is over so with that said let's get started Please keep in mind that there are quite a few books to get through here and I'm gonna try my hardest to put the synopsis in my own words but like I might have to look at my iPad y'all because I don't really know what any of these books are about with the exception of one maybe so just bear with me bear with me we gonna get through this regardless but anyway Anyways, the first book that I have here is The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. And honestly, this cover drew me in. I just thought that it looked really cute. I love the red. I love the font. I love the characters on the front. I love the representation. This just looks like it's going to be so cute. Actually, this is about two uh, teenagers, so it is a YA romance book. But this focuses on a girl named Lila and a boy named Teddy. And basically what's going on here is that they're rival co-workers but Lila works at this inn in her hometown and she's trying to earn extra cash and Teddy just so happens to be the nephew of Lila's boss at this inn. So of course they're working together you know there's probably shenanigans antics and all of that type of stuff that they get up to but of course as time goes on they probably start to fall in love and the story pretty much takes off from there. I also mentioned that this inn is actually like the location of this famous holiday film that came out a years ago in, in this story and Lila is also an anonymous book blogger. I can't wait to see how this goes. I feel like this me all those Christmas feels and I just love Christmas stories that are set at an inn or a hotel or just things like that I love that and that's like the vibe that you get from those Hallmark and those Lifetime movies there's always one female protagonist going back to her hometown her small rural hometown where she has to work and work at and or save an inn of some sort I don't know why that is the plot point that Lifetime and Hallmark and Netflix even uses but I love it and I eat it up every time so I just feel like I'm going to love this book this book that I have here I feel like needs no introduction but it is window shopping by Tessa Bailey so I feel like I've seen everyone on booktube and bookstagram talk about this book and rave about it in particular and because of that I just knew I needed to pick it up but also I love Tessa Bailey as you can tell it happened one summer is one of my favorite romance books of all time and yes I'm going to talk about it every single chance that I get because this book deserves the praise that it gets but anyways I don't really know too much about window shopping to be honest I just saw that Tessa Bailey wrote it and I bought it from the bookstore <laughs> on Apple books but right here it doesn't really give you too much in the synopsis it just gives you a rhyme but I think that the story does follow a young woman who just recently got released from prison and she's trying to find a job but she's having a difficult time of course because of her record and she stumbles upon this department store that has a really beautiful um, Christmas display like in the store window and she starts to admire it and the store manager I think notices her and he strikes up a conversation with her and then I think he ends up offering her a job and then things start to take off from there of course with them getting to know each other and then I'm assuming with them falling in love so I just think that this is probably going to be a cute little heartfelt story um I do feel like this is probably going to have like actual character development similar to what happened one summer um if I'm like if I really know Tessa Bailey's writing I feel like it probably is just going to have you know real life real world type of elements um woven throughout it as well especially because this does focus on a woman who did get released from prison and I feel like we don't really get a lot of books like that so I think that this is going to be a very interesting setup and I wonder how this is going to unfold in the story. And I love the little poem here so I'm going to quickly read it but it says two weeks before Christmas and all through Manhattan shop windows are decorated in red and green satin. I'm standing alone in front of the famous Vivant department store when a charming man named Aiden asked my opinion of the decor. It's a tragedy in tinsel, I say, unable to lie. He asked for a better idea with a twinkle in his eye. Did I know he owned the place? No, he put me on the spot. Now I'm working for that man, trying to ignore that he's hot. But as a down on her luck girl with a difficult past, I know an opportunity when I see one, and I have to make it last. I'll put my heart and soul into dressing his holiday windows. I'll work without stopping. And when we lose the battle with temptation, I'll try and remember I'm just window shopping. I love that that was cute phenomenal we love that so yeah I cannot wait to read this one I want to get to this one first I actually just joined a book club which 
y'all this has been a long road this has been a long time coming i've been trying to join a book club of some sort for a long time now and i finally found one and it is a romance book club thank the lord now i just need to find a thriller one but yes i joined a romance book club and i think this is going to be the first book that we read so i'm really excited about that this book that i have here i also feel like needs an introduction because it's been talked about everywhere but it is the holiday swap by maggie knox and honestly i wasn't really interested in picking this up but then i really read the synopsis and it just sounds really interesting and and just typical like cliche like christmas hallmark type of movie and i love it but basically this is about two twin sisters identical twins named charlie and cass and basically what happens is they do you know the twin switcheroo so they switch lives and clearly there's a theme going on with me loving the switch trope but anyways they switch lives and i think as time goes on they of course start to get acclimated and adjusted to the other's lives and along the way cass ends up falling in love with someone that is in charlie's life and charlie ends up falling in love with someone that's and Cass is like but of course these two male protagonists do not know who they really are and they didn't know that the twins switch so we're gonna see how the drama unfolds how you know the twins come clean and all of that type of stuff I just think that this is going to be another again cute read and probably very heartfelt as well I love when family themes are also incorporated in stories especially holiday ones so I just think that this is going to be great and there's also baking in here which oh, I love I love if you give me a good baking chapter or scene and it's also like woven throughout a Christmas story you got me you got me there and so Charlie I think is actually a baker and yeah charlie is the baker i'm pretty sure they both actually i think are bakers and they have like a family bakery or some something like that so yes this is going to be right in my alley this is probably going to be the second book that i read after i read um window shopping just because again this has been getting so much praise and hype on bookstagram in particular so i really want to see if it lives up to the hype for me next book that i have here is actually a quintessential lifetime slash hallmark christmas movie book you can even tell by the cover of this and it's called christmas in vermont by anita hughes and this is essentially about a girl named emma who goes to this pawn shop so that way she can pawn this bracelet that her ex-boyfriend gave her for some quick cash but when she gets to the pawn shop she looks in the glass cases and realizes that there is a watch there and the watch that is in that case is the same watch that she gave her ex-boyfriend in question um all these years ago so she tells her best friend Bronwyn and Bronwyn automatically thinks like oh it's fate you guys are actually meant to be together that's probably why it was there like what are the odds etc etc so of course Emma dismisses her and doesn't really listen to her but then somehow Bronwyn finds out that Fletcher is staying at this inn in Vermont and so she signs Emma up to go volunteer I think at the inn for some reason so that way Emma and Fletcher can rekindle their old flames but while you know they're trying to I guess do all of that the end that Emma is you know volunteering at and that Fletcher is staying in the end manager tells everyone that you know the place is going to close because he's not really seeing the revenue that he once used to see and so Emma and Fletcher I think help team up and try to save the inn so like I said quintessential Hallmark Christmas romance movie you got the inn you got the the ex-boyfriend and the ex-girlfriend rekindling their you know flame and their old love you got you know the meddling best friend you got the Vermont and like the rural snowy setting and I'm here for it I wonder how this is all gonna go and if they end up saving the inn I have no idea but yeah Christmas in Vermont by Anita Hughes the next book that I have here is actually a collection of short stories slash an anthology and it is called A Kiss for Christmas by Melody Grace and this is pretty good reviews so like I mentioned it is an anthology slash short stories collection so there are 16 stories in here and that's really it I can't really like give too much else it says here in the synopsis in unwrapped when an unlikely couple gets snowed in on the way to the wedding a flirty game of truth or dare sends temperatures soaring and holiday kisses writer dash that's cute like the like the reindeer writer dash needs peace and quiet to finish his new script but he wasn't betting on innkeeper at Ellie and the local star bright festival to give him a jolt of holiday inspiration and in another story called in unexpectedly yours Sophie has been dreaming of a magical winter holiday in New York City can a chance encounter with musician Austin bring her festive dreams to life so this just sounds again really cute it's going to give you all of those holiday feels i'm really excited to read hmm i think i'm really excited to read and um i'm really excited to read unwrapped just because it has like again it has you can tell there's going to be that temptation that like that angst and that tension oh i can't wait to read that one next book that i have here is called christmas at holiday house by rayanne thane and this one is about a young nurse named abigail who was recently widowed and she's looking for a fresh start in a different city so she ends up going to this um town in colorado called silver bells that's cute and she's actually hired by her friend um to take care of her friend's grandmother and while she's there she ends up meeting this grumpy local named ethan and 
of course they start off their relationship slash friendship whatever starts off very rocky they're not really the kindest to each other and then as time goes on they start to get to know each other sparks start to fly and y'all can already figure out the rest i'm not gonna lie these are probably gonna get repetitive but like that's what i'm here for that's what i'm looking for i want these type of christmas romances so like i don't really mind but just keep that in mind that they're all probably gonna follow that same formula so yeah Either way, it sounds fun and I can't wait to read it. The last book that I have here is called A More Actually, A Holiday Romance Anthology. And this is a short story collection piece written by multiple Latinx authors. So you have Adriana Herrera, Alexis Daria, who's one of my favorites, Diana Muno Stewart, Mia Sosa, who is another one of my favorites, uh, Priscilla Oliveras, Sabrina Sol, and Zoe Castile. So right here it says, it's Christmas Eve in New York City when anything is possible. For these couples, it's the season to find true love. From second chances, big leaps, misconnections, and reconnections, this charming collection celebrates the spirit of the holidays and delivers nine perfect happily ever afters. Like I said, many Latinx authors collaborated on this and I don't think we've ever really seen something like this before so I'm really excited to give this a read. The cover is absolutely stunning. Love, love it. Love the representation once again. And you got two of my favorite authors on here, Alexis Daria and Mia Sosa. And I know their stories in particular are probably going to be so good because they know how to write romance. And I cannot wait to get introduced to these other Latinx authors and their work and see what else they have in their catalog. So that way I can pick up more books because we all need more books. All right, y'all. And those are all of the holiday books that I hope to read before the season is over. I'm really excited with all of the books that I was able to find. I feel like it's definitely going to give me that Hallmark lifetime slash princess switch <laughs> type of vibe that I need and that I'm looking for this season and I just can't wait to read them all. Honestly, I love Christmas just like most people. I adore the traditions, the lights, the decorations, you know, the whole overwhelming spirit of believing. I just think all of it is absolutely beautiful and I'm really glad that we're already back, you know, for this time of the year. I'm glad that we're back around for this time of the year. It's always a great time in my opinion. So I cannot wait to really get into the holiday spirit um, and really, really celebrate this year. My boyfriend and I already put up our Christmas tree. It's like staring me right in the face. And I just, uh, I cannot wait to get gifts and put it under the tree and all of that type of stuff. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you plan on reading any holiday books. Let me know if you plan on reading any of the books that I mentioned in this video. And I will see you in my next one.